on parallel tracks. So both steps are happening just at the same time. How are the vaccines being tested? Right now, several different COVID vaccines are in testing. Each go through multiple clinical trials with up to thousands of volunteers. How do vaccines get approved? Not all COVID vaccine versions will make it to the final stages of testing and approval. Produced vaccines that do not pass clinical trials will be destroyed. But for those that do pass, a team of medical experts will examine test results and possible side effects. If the vaccine is effective and safe, it gets approved and gets to you. Go to covidvaccinewa.org to learn more. A message from the state of Washington. Hi, it's your favorite Raider Avenue radio host from the Clean Green's Live the Live show. It's Queen Bree and Robin T. Our show is live every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with topics ranging from life on the farm, health and wellness, and race and social justice. We feature guests each week with expertise in activism, entrepreneurship, healing, and food justice. So come join your girls live every Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Clean Greens Living Live Show. You can even call in and be a part of the show. See you then. Yo, what's good? It's D-Money, and you should definitely check out Fresh Juice every Wednesday, 9 to 11 Pacific, right on Rainer Avenue Radio. With Pint Size Patron, P. Treasy to Don, y'all be sure to clean your mirrors as we play brand new hip hop and R&B from locals and worldwide. It's ID yourself, AKA Malcolm Flex. Make sure you check out Fresh Juice every Wednesday, Pacific Standard Time from 9 to 11 p.m. And to get those exclusive interviews that we be doing. Sipping a brand new Fresh Juice every single week. Yeah. Every Wednesday, 9 to 11, Rainer Avenue Radio. Yeah, yeah. Are you a small business owner in Seattle who was impacted by COVID-19? The Seattle Office of Economic Development is investing $8 million to connect small businesses to operating capital. The Small Business Capital Access Program will lower the cost of Washington State Small Business Flex Fund loans by paying down 25% of the loan principal. Eligible small businesses can borrow up to $150,000 with a 4% interest rate to cover expenses like payroll, rent, utilities, and supplies. Would you like to see when your favorite Rainer Avenue radio show comes on check out our show schedule updated weekly at rainer avenue radio dot world well hello there world bettina carey here and i'm the founder and ceo of we empower you the global community and we empower your life.com and we're here to shadow shatter seal glass ceilings right down to the floor as i like to say and that's because we believe that glass ceilings are just sitting there for us to just break through as often as possible. Are your emotions getting the better of you? Are these same emotions taking away from the possibility of your success? Then you're gonna wanna stay tuned for our next show here today, which is gonna be featuring our guest, Claire Williamson. Claire Williamson is a certified quantum soul coach, motivational speaker, and mom of three. Having spent three years in her business broke Frustrated and stuck behind the shame of her personal story, Claire discovered how to biohack her emotions, work the quantum field, and leverage her personal story to create the income and impact of her dreams. Claire is now helping other female entrepreneurs to do the same, particularly entrepreneurs transitioning to a business that directly reflects their soul goal more deeply. Claire's success is coaching and she is doing this from a very unique ability to weed through limiting beliefs to help her clients discover their truth. She then helps them express this through business that is aligned, visible, and successful. Welcome, Claire. It's so great to have you here today. Hey, how are you going? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing great. And of course, you're in a very different time zone. What time is it where you're at? No, we're good. We're half eight, half eight in the morning, sunny outside, Easter Friday. So the kids are up to their necks and chocolate. So <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So my first question for you is what is biohacking in the first place? Yeah. If folks out there are listening. They may not have even heard of this term. Absolutely. So my journey with biohacking began as a physical journey. So I became interested in how I could overcome anxiety because I'd had this chronic anxiety for 14 years 
And I really had tried everything. You know, I'd tried medication, I'd tried therapy. And I'd got to this point in my life where things were really bad and I was really unhappy. And I'd started this business and I wasn't making any money. And one day I found myself in this position where literally every single pan shelf in my pantry was bare, food in the fridge was completely gone. Um, and I ended up having to go to a food bank to feed the children. And, you know, out of that moment, I was like, everything has to change. And as the universe does, when you have that full body commitment to shift, when you're actually truly ready, the doors start to open and things start to present themselves. And the first thing that presented itself to me was a technology that allowed me to actually track my bioparameters, my body's bioparameters, things like my heart rate, my breath rate. And so biohacking is actually the ability to change your routines, habits, um, nutrition, to create whatever effect you want in the body. So you work with the body, you find out about your body, you learn what your body needs and you work with it and you use tools, you use food, you use supplementation. Now, I decided to take this one level deeper because it, this worked so well for me on a physical level. I was like, well, what if I can biohack my emotions? What about these emotions that are keeping me stuck? You know, having me feel all this fear, having me feel every single low emotion you could possibly describe actually. What if I could work with the brain? And I started to learn about the, the brain and how neuroplasticity works, about trauma, about the nervous system. And so emotional biohacking is taking that next level, actually hacking the brain and being able to shift your emotional state really quickly, really easily. So through your day, instead of being in those moments where you hesitate, second guess, maybe don't do something at all, you're able to quickly move your emotional state and you're able to get into action. And obviously there's um, you know, a secondary benefit to that in terms of lifting your emotion, lifting your vibration. You become to become you, you begin to become more magnetic to things that you want in your life, that abundance that you seek. It starts to come to you if you can actually raise your frequency by shifting your emotions. Most people are probably spending 60 to 70% of their day in a low vibrational state without even realizing it just through those micro, um, you know, those micro reactions, the things that bother them, you know, or even just getting out the bed the wrong way, or what do they call it, getting out the wrong side of the bed, and then just allowing that to continue and let it railroad. Yes. So emotional biohacking is actually hacking your emotions, but really it's all hacking at that quantum level, at that cellular level and working with energy. And it's completely changed my life. Yes. I love how you found your way into this knowledge because many people have talked to me about this subject over the years and I'm very familiar with what you're doing, but nobody has shared with me that they've used devices to literally find out more about their body and change their lifestyle to accommodate a, a higher rhythms. And, and of course, energy, I've got tons and tons of energy and I've been doing this work personally, emotionally intelligent for years. And thankfully my days are very up there, you know, and rarely do I ever come down to any low level energy. And so, you know, and people all, often marvel at that. They're like, how is it that you do that? And I'm like, well, it all started one day when I started to realize that my emotions had the better of me. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I decided to, you know, to pay attention to those emotions and to just, you know, just to find a way. I, I do a lot of meditation that helps me to keep grounded, and I um, also believe in the power of now as um, mode to the madness, so to speak. And uh, so I'm, I'm really interested in that piece of of using technology that helped you to guide yourself to this path. And mm. so were you using any particular devices? Yeah, connect? so I used what's called um, a Vivo Health device. That's a V-Y-V-O. Uh -huh. And, you know, I feel like I stand for that person who hears all the time, you should meditate. You should go and do a breath work. You should just go relax go go contemplate the fluff in your navel but your nervous system is in such an egg, unregulated state that yeah. it's absolutely impossible and I rem I'm remembering back now to those times 
you know, even waking up in the morning, I feel emotional just bringing it back, like waking up in the morning and within seconds, all these thoughts coming in and really feeling my whole brain caving in. And then, you know, having so much fear about getting up, being in this rock hard place situation where I'm like, do I just lie here and put up with how I feel in bed or do I get up and face the world? I don't know which is worse. And I see this with so many entrepreneurs. So successful women who have built their business and they've worked hard, but they haven't stopped. And they're in this position now where they're, they're wanting to hit their next level. They're wanting, maybe they're, they got to six figures and they want to hit multiple six figures, seven figures, eight figures, but they, they reach a ceiling. And what I find really powerful with this work is that we actually find a powerful way to become aware. Because if you think about what thoughts are, they're nervous system impulses. So we actually have to start becoming aware of what's triggering our nervous system in the first place. But if we're not used to stopping and we're running at a high speed, high productivity, high achiever, we can't see, we, we, we don't have that perspective and so the device actually what you do is set bio um, sorry you set um, parameters around your breath rate your heart rate your blood pressure and if either of those go outside of what you feel is a healthy range for you you get a little buzz on your wrist and so like it's like oh you know that slight shift in breath rate so you know what is it the yogis are breathing at about eight breaths per minute a healthy breath ry rhythm is between eight and 12 breaths a minute. When I start to get a little bit anxious or, you know, I can feel my brain waves going a little bit too fast, getting up in that high beta consciousness, yes. my breath rate suddenly jumps up to 17 and it buzzes. I'm then able to stop, take a breath, center, ground. But most people, who are in that state, they're getting up to 22, 24 breaths a minute. And you're literally, you know, just crashing your, your nervous system, crashing your healthy body, causing havoc. So Ooh. it just gives you that way to have an awareness that, you know, until you get to that point where meditation is part of your daily rhythm and breath work is part of your daily rhythm, it allows you to take the first steps. It's amazing. <laughs> and, and then as you talked about then you become like a magnet right and things start to come to you as opposed to you chasing them down you finally broke through the six figure and now into the multiple six figure level and so what what's your next glass ceiling that you're trying to shatter yeah i want to i i want to push to that million dollars um you know like short I, just coming all at once. I <laughs> So I do a lot of breath work and I get a lot of vision through the breath work. And I saw myself, I saw this vision come really clear, um, the impact that I want to make on the world. I have a, have a vision of creating a foundation that mm. incubates biodiversity um, innovation to help to start bringing together forest fragments across the, across the world. I'm really passionate about endemic species being lost. And I saw this vision and I, I saw the number and I, I was like, this is where I need to go. And it's interesting because I actually started feeling like there was ants crawling all over me. It was this um, straight, like hot ants. It was almost like fear um, constricting. Instead of being in that expanded, open, vibrational, attractive state, it was like all of me started to cave in. And I discovered this a little bit and I realized, um, and this is where trauma work has to be such a fundamental part of growing any business, right? I realized how much I'm still carrying my dad's story of failure. My dad had mm -hmm. multiple businesses when I was a child. Um, and what I realized was on the surface, they all looked very successful. And we, for a, a long time, lived this quite um, wealthy life. And then my dad lost everything. And, and for a lot of my life, I thought that that was when everything disappeared. But what I've realized as I've grown up and talked to him a bit more is that he was struggling for such a long time. So mm -hmm. I realized that I had a lot of fear around actually pushing through my own glass ceiling in case everything just fell apart. And wow. I became that failure to my children. And, you know, and I've been doing a lot of work with that recently because these sorts of things, they do come in feelings and they mm -hmm. come in these tiny, you know, micro moments during the day where our subconscious is just remembering. Remember those triggers, you know, it's your environment. What's going on in your environment? What do you see? What are you hearing? 
what is the question you're being asked? What is the opportunity you're being pulled to that is triggering yeah. the nervous system from the place of the past um, and causing you to make a bad decision for you to say no or for you to play small, you know? So um, my own hacks have been coming in very useful as I go towards this, um, you know, this ceiling and I, I will bust through this ceiling <laughs> and, and hit that million dollars. I will, yeah. So your website, uh, cwfullcircle.com is a place where folks can get to you. And um, it's the, actually uh, not. <laughs> that's an, that's oh, an old, that's an old okay. website. Um, okay. It's claire-williamson.com. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're shifting over. <laughs> <laughs> claire-williamson.com. Okay. That's great. We'll get folks to get you there. What might folks find when they get there? What what? Uh, well, it's actually in construction, so okay. not much. They'll find a little holding page. One of the best places to find me, and I love sharing this. I love to say to people, you know, just go to Instagram, CW underscore full underscore circle, because that's the work that I do with other coaches, other entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need websites in this day and age. I, I believe that we can, you know, really create that um, front of shop through our social media presence. And it creates such deep trust. It's, it's almost like an acceleration to working with people. Because you may go and visit a website once, you may go and decide on that, that visit that it's not for you. Whereas if you engage with somebody on social media and you like, maybe you like it a little bit, you like a post and then mm -hmm. the algorithm is going to show you a bit more. And so for us building businesses, social media is such a powerful place to be. I've also got a YouTube channel. I'm also on Facebook. So for me, I'm really passionate about social media, specifically as a platform to share our voices. I work with people who have a story of trauma like myself who have been through tough times in their life and that's the reason why they have a soul fired up business they're ready to live out that soul goal and you know save other people from what they've been through and help people to do things in a better way yes uh, share a story with us about someone that you've helped recently because i think that's always exemplary uh when we have folks on the show yeah I'm working with a phenomenal um, lady right now. She's in my mastermind. Um, she worked with me one-to-one. -one, and when she came to me, she was barely making any money in her business at all. And what we found was she had some very deep trauma from childhood. Um, she talks about this publicly, so I know she won't mind me sharing, but she was abused. And she was holding this trauma in her body and, and felt so unsafe so untrusting of other people of the world and so you imagine going trying to call in client relationships and just not really trusting anything and and we always whatever we're feeling in our body it's like an antenna on our head right just yeah. pouring out these feelings and repelling whatever it is we say we want but our, our energy is saying something entirely different yeah, it's like having and the so, gas pedal and the brake on at the same time and then oh, you're really stuck and you're creating a lot of friction in the in the universe too that is such a good analogy. Yeah. And that's what exactly what was happening. She was trying so hard. She was trying all sorts of things. She'd been in another mastermind and, you know, not really broken through. And so we got together and we did a lot of trauma work. We really pulled her personal story right open and really discovered the areas of her story that would resonate with the clients that she wanted to pull through we also identified how small she was playing you know she was just working in this tiny area where she wanted to literally create world peace and I remember the session where she said that out loud like what do you really want I want to create world peace and when she said it it was like oh my god and her entire business has pivoted now she is working in a completely different way connecting with charities she's launched um, a best-selling book she's being invited to all sorts of things. Um, she broke those five figure months in her business quite quickly. Um, it's just so much expansion. Wow. You know, I feel she's such a good example of when you just connect in with those areas of trauma and you release them and you're able to show up authentically in your truth, in your true energy and in an aligned way. How many of us aren't actually aligned to what we truly want to be doing because we have these stories. I had these stories. I can't I can't save the world rain world's rainforests. 
I can't do that. How 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 can I make a difference? And it's so interesting because the first rainforest project that I have partnered with, their symbol is a little hummingbird, um, oh. which is why I'm calling my movement the hummingbird movement. But the fable behind this hummingbird from the rainforest is that the forest is on fire and it's the little hummingbird that flies in and is just dropping drop by drop by drop water onto this fire and all the other animals are stunned in fear and they're saying why are you even trying you 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 can't you can't make a difference yeah and she says i'm doing my part and i get chills when i when i think of that yeah. because actually the things that we do if we can hack those emotions if we can take those micro actions they accumulate into the big actions and suddenly we are changing the world and we change the world by being the change it has to start within ourselves we have to commit to that transformational journey. Yes. Yeah. I love that. You know, uh, the saying that comes to my mind with your story is, you know, when is it a good time to plant a tree? And it's like a hundred years ago or today, right? So your part, doing your part just to fulfill your, your vision of yourself and why you're here and that getting deeper into the story, you help people with their soul goal. Um, I've heard a lot of people working with folks around their, their calling and their soul's purpose and all of that. I've never heard the terms soul goal. So share a little mm -hmm. bit about that before we wrap up. It must have been a couple of years ago now. Um, I was on a retreat and I was being called out by a coach. You know, what do you really want to do? And I realized that it was the, these these rainforest projects. And I also wanted to become such a you know, a, a story of change that, and work with other change makers. Like I've always felt drawn to work with other change makers, that there would be a ripple effect and we could create this change together. And and I always, always say to people, you know, if you're out there and you have a soul goal, then, and you're not doing anything about it and you're not sharing your story and you're not getting visible and you're not doing the, the transformational work. It's like you're a, a candle of hope that just never gets set alight. Nobody can see you, right? Yeah. Right. And when I was talking to this coach in the session, it's just like I just feel this 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 soul goal to make a difference. And it's it started from there. I, I started calling myself the soul goal coach. I'd actually at that point had a lot of clients where three to four months into the six month program, they'd really started to do something entirely different. I'd seen that pattern of what we can unleash. My program's actually called You Unleashed. <laughs> and I started to believe that that was my path. Um, more recently, I've brought that quantum edge into it because I can see how we can we can create shifts. You know, we can do it in 3D time or we can work with the quantum field and we can do it like, you know, yesterday that that that's the tree. You know, there is no time. That's right. Every, every, everything is now. <laughs> everything is now. And so I've brought the quantum science. I actually launched a quantum coach certification last year as well. We're about to run another um, intake of that where people are actually getting to learn my processes around emotional biohacking, trauma release, working with the nervous system, neurosomatic work. So I'm really excited about that because I know the power of, of, of creating faster results. Yes, it's, it's, it's the a speed such a difference you can do things is so much different in, when you're working in the quantum field and understanding. And I love that you're doing this work out there. How can folks get a hold of you? The best singular way, would you say? Was that, would you direct them to Instagram? Yeah, just DM me on Instagram. Let's have a chat. Let's find out where you're at, what, you, what your soul goal is, what's blocking you from really stepping into that truth. And I have a bunch of free resources that I can connect people to, or we can just jump on a call and go from there. Um, I would love to, I would love to chat to people. Fantastic. Well, give us a final thought. It's something, maybe a tip or a biohack that, that you have that can, you can share with us in about a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to think about whatever you fear and I want you to put a rating on it. So something that's holding you back at the moment, something that you know is, is creating your ceiling. And I want you to give it a rating between one and five. So it might be a five. It might feel quite significant. Once you've got that rating, I want you to write down what do you actually fear specifically? Just let it all out. I fear this. I fear this is going to happen. I fear that's going to happen. And then 
Look back on those things and close your eyes, ground yourself, take a grounding breath and feel into all of the ways that you have the power to actually manage those um, potential outcomes, all of the skills that you have, your personal, um, you know, strengths and write a list next to it. Yeah, but this happens, I'll do this. Or if this happens, I'll do this. And then you go back to that thing that you fear and you re-rate it. I want you to re-rate and usually it's going to drop a couple of scores and you're going to feel differently about it. And when you're in that feeling of um, difference, I want you to pick one step that you can take right now to move forward in a different feeling, a different step of action that is actually going to take you forward in your life. I love that. I'm actually internally doing this right now as you're speaking. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, yeah, this goes. Is the the fear rating (laughs) dropping? Oh, yes, definitely. Fear fear is one of those things I I, uh, avoid like the plague because it really can stop or block you from achieving success. But no matter what, the human being, we're, we're wired to be always looking for danger, danger, Will Robinson, right? That's, that's the human context that we're in. So yes, I love this idea. So you're going to be speaking at the upcoming We Empower You Global Virtual Summit on June the 8th. I'm so looking forward to having you there. For those of you watching, you're going to want to be sure to come into Claire's uh, session and uh, a little bit more about the summit. So it's a 12 hour marathon day. This time around, we're going to also have a uh, live session here in seattle washington for those who can make it for portion of the day and we start at 8 30 a.m go to 8 30 p.m you're going to want to go to weempoweryourlife.com click on the summit tickets tab and get your free ticket you must rsvp however to get your free ticket and uh, it's easy it takes about two minutes or two seconds rather to put in your information and get your zoom details and we cover all kinds of topics, business, leadership, love, life, and health. It's been so wonderful to have you here today with us, Claire, and uh, looking forward to you being with us uh, at the June Summit. Yeah, ditto. I can't wait. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're all done here today. Our next show coming up on Rainier Avenue Radio is Women's Empowerment Radio, episode 46. And I'm so excited that uh, that show follows me because we're too too closely aligned to brands. And uh, thanks everyone for listening and watching. Please leave us comments. I read them and I love your feedback. Join us each and every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you next week. Bye for now. Bye. Coaching is a noble profession, but in these current tumultuous times, so many talented coaches are finding that they simply cannot connect with people that they could be helping. And people need our help more than ever these days. That is why I conceived the We Empower You Global Community and Global Virtual Summit. I'm Bettina Carey, and I'm inviting you to join with some of the world's leading empowerment coaches, trainers, authors, mentors, and thought leaders for our upcoming We Empower You Global Virtual Summit. There's an old adage and saying that goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. It is in that spirit of togetherness that we aim to help connect more talented coaches to the people that they might help. Join us for free and share your knowledge in this find wealth by giving endeavor. And there isn't a hidden fee, big sales pitch at the end. You will be shoulder to shoulder with some of the world's best thought leaders, newsmakers, and game changers. And you will see for yourself exactly what the We Empower You global community and membership is all about. It's a blend of altruism and business to be sure. This endeavor is audacious and we hope to plant seeds that take deep roots. So we need you. If you have a goal of helping others reach and achieve that next rung, if your work aids in lifting people out of self-limiting beliefs, if you're ready to fix the world one client at a time, or spread your message to the masses, you're welcome to join us for our We Empower You Global Summit. Tickets are free, but RSVP is required. Scan the QR code if you're watching on TV or go to our website at weempoweryourlife.com and click on the Summit Tickets tab to get more information and to claim your free Zoom admission ticket. We Empower You, together we will go far.